Okay, we got an older house in Baytown today. I got quite a few issues on this one. Let's go check it out. Let's just say, inspector tip of the day, do not support 240 pounds with one two by four. One of the first finds that I found it was actually in the garage is we have a Sylvania panel box here. Sylvania panel box is an older panel box system. Same thing with the FPE panel box. The company went out of business and uh, they have a lot of known deficiencies with this panel box. Uh, several electrical issues are just related to fires. So the main thing is, is we want to replace this. Okay, the next find is actually with this water heater. It's a little, not too old of a water heater. It's 2012. Uh, but we have galvanized water lines coming in at the top. So normally with galvanized water lines, we find leaks in these older properties because these water lines are at the end of their lifespan. Uh, but the funny thing about this, uh, this water heater is it's actually, it's actually being supported by a two by four. So this is a 30 gallon water heater. One gallon of water is about eight pounds. And so that sits about 240 pounds of water just sitting on one two by four. So let's just say inspector tip of the day, do not support 240 pounds with one two by four. Okay, walking through the property, uh, these hatches right here, anytime there's like any type of easy access hatch behind a tub, it's an easy spot where you can look for plumbing leaks uh, around the property. So I'm gonna open this up here. Instantly I start to see corrosion around the water pipes on the inside and I can even see that it's wet beneath the tub. I, one of the first things I do, one of my first passes is I just run a little bit of water everywhere real quick. Uh, as I turn on all the lights, just get a full load of electricity on the house. So I do one quick pass inside and then I'll do a detailed pass in the second pass. But here you go, you can start to see some of the corrosion here on some of the galvanized water lines with these fittings. And then right down here, you can see that it's pretty wet. Yeah, no, no bueno. Uh, whenever you have a lot of uh, wet plumbing underneath tubs, it also invites termites. Uh, termites like to follow plumbing penetrations. Okay, one of the next major finds is I noticed outside we had some cast iron plumbing. If you have cast iron plumbing underneath the structure, cast iron plumbing is known to crack and cause leaks. So we always recommend to do some sort of sewer scope scan or uh, the best one is the hydraulic testing test. Hydra. <laughs> the best one is actually the hydrostatic testing. So right here what I'm doing, is I noticed the last time I filled the sink up, I noticed there was some water outside. So I'm going to fill it up on the inside to see if I had any water damage uh, or water coming in underneath the sink. Um, I saw that it was a little damp, but I don't know if it was from the drain or coming from behind the wall. So what I'm doing is I'm just filling it up, see what happens. Actually, wow, uh, that's a lot of water. Oh, well, well, we gotta go get our sham wows. Okay, that was a little bit more water than I expected to go behind, uh, the, come through the wall there. It didn't look that bad when I first started it, but so that means that there's a pipe uh, disconnected behind the wall into going to that cast iron plumbing, or there's some sort of backup. So we won't, we definitely need to repair that. So, <laughs> um, uh, that's, I'm gonna kind of cut the video short this week. Uh, I'm gonna keep it short. I uh, just I always want to recommend to all the clients is you know try. You can see that this one has a lot of you know it's nicely painted, nice floors around the structure. You know new fixtures, new outlet covers. You know try to dig a little bit deeper. I always recommend trying to maybe operate the faucets on the inside, fill the water pressure, try to see if you have galvanized water lines and uh, do a once around outside too, uh, because you can get distracted a little bit by you know, the pretty paint and colors and the price. So try to look at the more guts of the property. Um, but that's it, that's Christmas Day Action. If you have any home inspection questions, please give us a call. And even if you are looking at properties, I tell this to all my clients, people don't abuse it as much as they should, just shoot me a text and be like, hey Chris, I saw this, what's this like, what is this? 
All right, but if you have any home inspection questions, please give me a call. Thanks, guys. Bye. I'm <laughs> sorry.